through the definitions up here and then work through the guided practice with you. After reviewing this lesson, I've actually decided I'm going to do some of the independent practice with you as well. It says an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives, and actually I'm going to highlight that. An adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives make sentences more interesting because they tell what kind, and these are important questions to ask yourself when you're going to be looking at these other questions, how many or how many. In a diagram, an adjective goes below the word it describes. Most adjectives come before the noun that they describe, so let me highlight that as well. Most adjectives come before the noun that they describe. Some adjectives end like a verb, and some, so I'm going to highlight that as well. Sometimes it has the ending ed or ing. So these are diagramming sentences. So they just kind of laid it out what it would look like. Simple subjects. Subject is what is the sentence about? The verb is the action word. Direct object is what is that simple subject kind of like doing or working with. And we'll go over some examples so that will make more sense. So here's an example right here. It says darkened skies can signal big storms. So the simple subject, what is that sentence about? It's about skies. What kind of skies? This is your adjective is darkened skies. So they're dark skies. And what is that verb? They can signal. And what is that direct object that the darkened skies are dealing with? They're dealing with big storms. So use this right here as your example. All right, now there's another kind of adjective. It's called a predicate ad adjective. I'm going to highlight it. It's right here. A predicate adjective comes after the noun or pronoun that they describe. So I'm going to highlight that after the noun or pronoun that they describe. A predicate adjective always comes after a linking verb and describes the subject of the sentence. I'll highlight that as well. So here is the diagramming sentence outline right here for you. First you have the simple subject, then the linking verb, and then your predicate adjective. So here's an example. Lightning is dangerous. What is that sentence about? It's about lightning. That's your simple subject. What is that linking verb? It's is. And what is the lightning or the predicate adjective? It's dangerous because dangerous is a describing verb. I'm sorry, a describing word that describes lightning. All right, so guided practice. The first part is pretty easy. It says underline the adjectives in each sentence. Draw an arrow from each adjective to the noun or pronoun that it describes. So this part is the easier part. The diagramming the sentences is a little bit trickier. So number one says, heavy rains often come with thunderstorms. So first we have to underline the adjectives in the sentence. And we're going to underline for number one, heavy. Heavy is a describing word. And what is heavy? describing. It's describing rain. So we're going to draw an arrow from heavy to rain. All right, so that's all you have to do with these sentences. So number two, thunderstorms are small compared to hurricanes. What is that adjective in the sentence? Small. Small is a describing word. What is small describing? It's describing the thunderstorm, so you have to go backwards with your arrow. So, once again, you got to find the adjective, which is a describing word, and then figure out what it is describing. What noun or pronoun is it describing? All right, number three, lightning frightened the young child. So, the adjective is young. 
What is Young describing? It's describing the child. So we're going to draw an arrow to child. Number four, some people like to watch thunderstorms. This one's a little bit trickier. The adjective in this sentence is some. And what is some describing? It's describing the people. We're going to draw an arrow to people. Okay, number five. Lightning may be forked. The adjective in this sentence is forked. By the way, that just means these little veins right here. So what is being forked? It's the lightning. So we're going to go draw our arrow back to lightning. Number six actually has two adjectives. It may be long and street. And what are those two adjectives describing? It's actually describing the pronoun it. So you're going to draw an arrow back to the word it. Just like that. Number seven, some lightning is jagged. Now there's two more adjectives in here because we've seen uh, the adjective some is up here. So that's one adjective. And the second adjective is jagged. And what are those two adjectives describing? They are describing lightning. So we're going to draw an arrow from here and an arrow from here, just like that. Like I said, this part's a lot easier than the diagramming of the sentences, which I'm going to do with you. All right, number eight. Well, let me read the directions first. It says, label the sentence patterns SV, subject verb, SVDO, subject verb, direct object, or SLVPA, subject, linking verb, predicate, adjective. It says diagram the many words and adjectives that tell what kind, what kind, how many. Prepositional phrases should be identified with parentheses, but do not need to be diagrammed. All right, so sentence number eight says, thunderstorms are dry. What is that subject? This whole sentence is about thunderstorms, so we're gonna write thunderstorms. Now you draw a line like this to separate the subject and the predicate. Predicate is your verb. So what is the verb? Or in this case, it's a linking verb. It's the word are. Oops, excuse me for that. And then you're going to draw a line like this to add your adjective. And what are thunderstorms? They are dry. Now the pattern that we have here is subject, linking verb, and then this is a predicate adjective, P-A, because it goes along with the R. All right, number nine, thunder warned us of stormy weather. So think about what is that sentence all about? That's your subject. In this case, it's thunder. Draw your line like that to separate your subject and your predicate. What did the thunder do? It warned. And in this case, who did it warn? You'll draw your line, you draw a little line like this. It warned us. Now this of stormy weather, that's your prepositional phrase. And you do not need to diagram that. For the pattern for this, we have subject, verb, and direct object. What did the thunder directly 
effect, it directly affected us. So that's your direct object. All right, so let me go over your independent practice. One through seven is just like on the previous page, which, let me go back to that, just re refresh your brains. This part right here. So I'm not going to go over that part because I think you should be okay. The only part I am going to work with you on is the diagramming of the sentences. It says, once again, label the sentence patterns SV, SVDO, or SLVPA. Diagram the main words and the adjectives that tell what kind or how many. Put parentheses around the prepositional phrases, but do not diagram them. These sentences have a little bit more details to them. So number eight says, hard hailstones damage crops. So we're going to draw our diagram just like this. We're going to draw a little line like this. And then there's a line like this. And this is why I want to go over this with you because you did not practice this. So first thing, what is that sentence all about? It's about hailstorms. Hailstones, excuse me. That is your simple subject. What did the hailstones do? They damaged. And then what did they damage? That's your direct object. They damaged the crops. Now, what is this line for? If you go back, that's an adjective. So that's a describing word. And it's a describing word that describes the simple subject. So we got to find the adjective that describes hailstones, which is hard. This might be a little bit tricky to write sideways. Let me try. There we go. Okay. Hard hailstones damage crops. This hailstones is the subject. Damage is your verb. And what did they directly affect is the crop. So that's your direct object. All right, number nine. Ice balls are destructive to windows and cars. Now we have a prepositional phrase right here to windows and cars, because we have that one preposition word to. So that part of the sentence, we do not need to diagram. So I'm going to set up the diagram for us. This is subject, predicate. And this one has a predicate adjective, just making sure I draw my line correctly. And there is an adjective that describes the simple subject. So ice balls are destructive. That's the only part of the sentence we're going to look at. What is that sentence about? It's about the ice balls. And ice is the describing word. That's your adjective. What are we got to look at? What's the linking verb? It's are. And ice balls are destructive. All right. So this word right here is your simple subject. R is your linking verb. And, dest and destructive is your predicate adjective. Last sentence is easy. Does it have the adjectives that describe the simple subject? So we're going to draw a line here. This one does have a predicate adjective. Hailstones feel cold. What is that sentence all about? It's about hailstones. What is the verb? They feel. And how do they feel? They feel cold. 
that's your predicate adjective. So we have this hailstones is your subject. That's what the whole sentence is about. Feels is your linking verb. And cold is your predicate adjective. And once again, you don't have to worry about the applying right. So I did that part for you. That way you can try this. And then I will send you the answers key so you can check your answers. So once again, this is in your English 5 workbook, page 231 to 232. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. Bye.